Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. See, you're okay. You're good. I feel like there's a side of, of that's good in this, and, and there's another group of people that are on, in the darker energy, okay? These are people who are manipulative, right? Um, they're feeling like clowns now. They, I, I'm getting that they're very jumpy, okay? They're feeling jumpy. They're feeling off balance. They're, they've gotten themselves all tripped up, okay? And I'm getting the feeling like this was kind of part of the plan is to, you know, allow these people to make their own crappy decisions and get tripped up into their own messes, okay? Now these people are angry, upset, or very, very whiny. What did I say? And that's what this is. They're very, very whiny. This could be multiple people that you've been dealing with. This could be one person, okay? Um, take it how it resonates with you. But there's, I'm definitely feeling a masculine energy who is, um, that's the energy I'm picking up on. Just the chaos is, is um, escalating. The whininess is escalating. The jealousy is, it's all escalating, you guys. It's like at an all-time high right now. Why? Because you're doing great. Because you're living wish fulfillment. Um, you've done your work and now it's time for your blessings to roll in. This one wants to come out. And it's a mystery too. I feel like people have tried to block your path. It's a mystery that you've gotten this far. Like how are you making your, still making your dreams come true? How are you living a happy life? How, how did you get past their blockages, their roadblocks, right? The bad juju that they were sending you. Because look, I'm seeing two wolves trying to block you. Okay, you could be a Cancer. You could maybe be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Virgo energy, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All of this is coming out in reverse. Yeah, see, people just, they really just wanted to reverse everything for you is really the feeling I'm getting. That's too many cards, though. Yeah. But I feel like you, you just continue to persevere. And you're probably stronger than you ever have felt before, okay? And now, geez, the cards are just crazy. I'm telling you, people are mad, jealous. This is the, dev the devil being angry. The devil's angry because you know what? There's, I feel like there's no more blockages, okay? I feel like your wish fulfillment is, is rolling in, Um. And I feel like the devil is losing here. The devil's losing, you know, and uh, there's a lot of chaos and whininess going on. Yeah, and you're stronger than ever. Empress energy, okay? Because, you know, you wake up in the morning, your feet hit the floor, and the devil gets, they used to, the devil used to get nervous. Now the devil's getting mad because they can't keep you down. You know, and the devil is working through other people also, like assigning other people to try to block your path, to try to block your progress, your success. And it's not working. It's not working. You keep moving forward. I feel like you need to keep your moves hidden at this time as well. Any, um, I, like any ideas that you have, keep it hidden until you... Um, until you bring that, you know, into reality, right? Um, anywhere that you're planning on leaving, any future plans, keep your, keep, keep your stuff hidden, collective. Because the devil is out here working through other people to try to block you. Okay? Yes, it is the truth. Yes. You know, so keep those moves hidden, right? As you move forward, move stealthily, right? <laughs> Be stealthy. <laughs> um, yeah. Walking away, what is this? Clarify the Eight of Cups. I feel like, you know what, you're walking away from people who deserve to be walked away from. You realize that you could be walking away from like up to eight people here realizing that not everybody can come on your path with you there is a separation 
okay? A huge degree of separation here, okay? Between the people who have done their work and are accepting of change, okay? Positive change. And the people who have not done their work and they're, um, they're holding on to toxicity. They're working with the devil or the devil is working through them. These, pe these are the people that you're walking away from. And, you know, here's the thing. I feel like, um, I feel like you were very unappreciated. I feel like you um, were overlooked. I feel like people maybe made you feel used, taken advantage of walked all over, and maybe even just invisible. There were people who probably tried to suppress you, maybe tried to silence you, or tried to make you even think that you were crazy, okay? And I feel like these are all people that you're walking away from, and those are people who cannot come with you on your path. You know, now that you're walking away from them, they feel that impact that you made on their life only you know they're feeling it too late like um they um you know you don't know what you got till it's gone right and that's how these people are feeling it's it's a complete shake up you're triggering you're triggering all of these people and the devil and the devil himself because you refuse to let these people come on a divine path with you, you they haven't earned it Okay, they have not earned it. Now these people want to come back in and apologize. I'm so sorry. Look at this. I'm on my knees praying, right? Please, God, please don't let the collective leave, live, leave my life. I feel like their life is going down the tubes. They're starting to lose things that they once thought were more important than you. Okay, they're st they could be losing their stability, losing other relationships. Things aren't working out well for them at all. So now the, now the people that you're leaving behind, they're scrambling, they're praying, they're on their knees asking for forgiveness, you know, praying for you to come back into their life because you know what, now they're realizing the impact you made when you were in their life and they treated you like crap. Now, now you've taken your energy away, okay, and their life is starting to crumble around them. Do you see what I'm saying? Their life starts deteriorating without your beautiful energy. And they want that back. Oh boy, do they want that back. Yeah, because everything is chaotic for these people. It, there's like shakeups in their life. Okay? Um, they're on unstable ground. All right? Any new things or any opportunities or anything that they need to come forward, it's blocked. Because these are the people who tried to block you. These are the same people who tried to block you. I feel like it's multiple people, but it could be just one. So take it how it resonates, okay? I've got, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, more Pisces here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Taurus, Aries. Here's the thing. I feel like with the sword out here, too, you really just wanted the truth. You wanted fairness. You wanted to see your justice. And Spirit is leading you in a, in a completely different direction away from these people without even seeing your justice come in yet. So you're, um, you're definitely being spiritually led. You know, you're definitely being spiritually led. And the, that's what makes the devil angry, okay? Yeah, the, and whoever you're leaving behind, they can feel that loss, okay? They can feel your absence it's it's really um triggering everybody okay yeah when spirit gives you a message right you go you go you don't question it you are you're allowing the divine to lead you here and i feel like you're you're moving forward not knowing what's going to happen next not knowing where you're going right 
but you have faith that Spirit's going to give you everything that you need in order to do this, and they are. Um, so I feel like all of this abundance is going to trickle in for you as well. Yep, and you know it. With that big cup in your hand, that's your intuition. Those are your spiritual abilities. And with the kind of love that you gave to all of these other people, um, and you were steadfast in that as well. I feel like you were nothing but loving to others. No matter what they did to you, I feel like you were still, you still extended your love, okay? And so spirit is like you're very deserving of this new beginning. And we want you to have a peaceful new beginning. But keep your moves hidden because you know what? The devil wants to try to tempt you or bring you down or block your path with however they can do it. Okay? And they're, they're using other, the devil is using other people to do that. Okay? Just so you know. It's an energy. Okay? But yeah, as, as you move forward, see, people want that love. They want that love. They want your beautiful energy that you have in this cup. Without it, their world is starting to fall apart. And I feel like you're, um, you're protecting yourself. You, you can feel and sense that someone else wants to, uh, somebody wants to come forward with an apology. But here's the thing. You can't trust these people anymore. The Knight of Cups isn't the most reliable knight in the deck. This is love bombing. Okay? This is someone coming in, begging you, right? Pleading with you, groveling love bombing you telling you how wonderful you are how how um how they should have noticed you before how they should have listened to you before how you made their life beautiful and it may be the truth but you don't trust it i feel like you're protecting yourself here from anything from your past you've got your sword up you're like nope mm -mm. So, you know, get ready for, I feel like it's going to be multiple ap apologies that are going to start flooding in, okay? You're going to start hearing from these people. Um, you're going to start seeing these people in a situation where their life is crumbling around them because you took your energy away from them. That's how powerful you are. Okay, that's what your love can do for other people. And when you take it away, it, it goes nutty. Uh, all, these, all these people want now is that stability back. The same stability that you brought into their life. They've mocked you. They treated you like garbage. They betrayed you. They've trash talked you behind your back. They, they ignored you. They treated you like you were invisible. But man, when you take that energy away and their life crumbles, they would do just about anything to get that energy back. So that's what these people are going to do. Okay, what they're going to do next, Collective, is they're all going to start coming in, looking like wounded warriors, okay? Um trying to brush off the dust and rubble from their um, from their wrecked lives, okay? And they're going to be begging you, begging you for forgiveness. This, uh, this group of people, it could include exes, ex-family, ex-friends. The fact is they're all exes for a reason. Because they didn't treat you right to begin with. They all betrayed you. Thank you, Spirit, on the bottom of the deck. They all betrayed you. And they're all stuck getting their karma so that it opens their eyes as to the beautiful soul they had around them and treated like snot. Really, that's what it is. That Spirit wants this, these people to see, um, to see you from a different perspective. They want, Spirit wants these people to be shocked. Okay, um, they want these people to feel that absence. Okay, spirit wants respect on your name. But here's the thing, you know, um, they are stuck. Spirit's got them wrangled here, getting their karma. And this is a foundation that's being rocked to its core. 
Okay, so um, they, these people could be losing jobs, losing money, losing their health. They could be losing their homes, losing relationships. They're out here just doing nothing but losing. Because you pulled that beautiful energy back and you said enough is enough. Thank you, Divine. Yeah, look at all the chaos. This is the kind of chaos that you're triggering. And it's a whole group of people, like I said. I felt it, you guys. I just could feel it through the reading that you're dealing with multiple people that you're walking away from. Okay, but th this is how it is now. You're triggering these people to like kind of go nutty behind the scenes over this. You pulled your, your magical, beautiful energy out of their lives and their lives are starting to crumble around them. I kid you not. And they're stuck now without you. These same people, they're going to be looking pretty whooped and battered when they come towards you with an apology. But they are going to be coming towards you with an apology because they're seeing now. Their life has turned to crap since you left their life. That's right. I feel like while you were in their life, everything was kind of going good for these people. You take your energy out of the situation and everything starts to fall apart. And they all start uh, fighting with each other. The chaos ensues, right? <laughs> I'm telling you. It, and the chaos and the drama that you're, you're, you're triggering so many people just by leaving their life and leaving them behind. You know, you're leaving them behind. That's all you're doing. And you're moving on in silence and in peace. And man, does this, it's like things are popping off over you, right? The, and people are realizing that they're in all this chaos because of how they treated you. You could be a Gemini, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, heavy on Cancer. Okay. I feel heavy on Gemini as well. Yeah, let's see what the oracles say. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? A message in a bottle. Yeah, you're being shown to move in a different direction altogether. Okay, there is a split. These people are getting their karma. Spirit and spirit wants you to move forward. Okay, I feel like the message that you're getting is from the divine. Okay, um, cl a clear message of where to go next. Maybe you don't know what direction to take next. Spirit is going to tell you either in a vision sign synchronicities or maybe in your dreams okay you're very intuitive but they'll give you the message right of where to go next the land of milk and honey this is where spirit is about to lead you okay so pay close attention to your dreams remember nothing is trivial if you keep seeing the word hawaii in ads or if there's like a tv commercial say there's a tv commercial that keeps playing over and over and over again like you keep seeing it like 10 times a day and it mentions a specific place that could be a sign like this is one of the ways spirit will give you a sign and give you direction or you'll have a specific location on your mind all the time all the time and you don't know why it's possibly because you're being called there okay but yes letting things end and letting something new begin, okay? And your life is about to change, all right? I feel like anything that you've lost is going to be returned to you. Your energy is going to be replenished. Yeah, see? And I feel like this is how people have left you. They left you feeling like this. But here's the thing. When you end it and you close that door and you, you put the past in the past where it belongs, then now these people who left you feeling orphaned, now they're feeling orphaned. Everything has flipped with a five. As soon as you end this, this is how these people feel in total darkness. Okay? They feel like they're in darkness. I kid you not. 
But meanwhile, you are going towards your land of milk and honey. And spirit's going to be um, leading you straight there. Okay? All these people, too, they're going to come back around. They're not going to like this feeling where they had you sitting in. Right? They're not going to like it. They don't like the way it feels in your absence. They don't like that feeling. Yeah, I feel like spirit's going to show you something in your dreams. Okay? They're going to show you, um, like, they're going to give you further instructions through your dreams. So pay close attention to that. Okay? Yeah, and this never-ending story is coming to an end. Okay? It's about to change here. This is a 10. That's an ending. Okay? This is an ending. And everything's being flipped around. Okay? Okay? with a five so yeah your life is about to change you know it you can feel it you can feel these blessings coming in okay so get ready collective Wait, i say that a lot i know but <laughs> i'm seeing um your blessings large and small being delivered to you i'm seeing you knowing that you have to let something come to an end and i'm definitely seeing spirit giving you some instructions or directions through your dreams so pay close attention to that and just know um these enemies um they're about to start literally scrambling in okay to try to apologize and bring your energy back in their life but it's too late for them now and they can't join you where you're going because they're not worthy of your path okay